team. Go team, go. Let's go. Here we go. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Hello church. Welcome to Sunday worship. Have you ever cheered for anyone or any team? What did you do when you were cheering for them? In today's Bible verse, people cheer for someone very special. Let's find out what happened. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory to God. Will you please make your people stop shouting? <laughs> If they weren't shouting, the rocks would start doing it. Is the temple? The scriptures say my house should be called a place of worship, but with you selling animals to sacrifice, you have turned it into a den of thieves. <laughs> Hosanna! Hosanna to the son of David! Hey. <laughs> Don't you hear what these children are saying? Yes, I do. Don't you know what the scriptures say? Children and infants will sing praises. That's um, hardly. Hey, hey! <laughs> gotcha. Woo -hoo -hoo. He has to go. But we can't arrest him in front of the people. He's too popular. We can't arrest him in private either. We don't know where he'll be. Then arrest him at night when he's alone. There are so many fools who follow him. It wouldn't be hard to slip one of them some money to let us know where to find him. Perfect. What will we arrest him for? We'll find something. Palm Sunday is when we remember Jesus going to Jerusalem before he would suffer and die for us. Let's open our Bible to Matthew chapter 21, verse 6 through 11. Bible tells us that crowds were everywhere. They lay coats and palm branches on the road before Jesus. The people did this to show honor to a king. Similar thing happened these days. What do people do when a very famous movie star or a pop star enters? Like BTS. They roll out red carpet and everyone cheers. Ah! Putting the coat and palm branches on the floor for Jesus is kind of similar to red carpet. The people did this to show honor to a king. People were expecting Jesus to be like an earthly king who would save them from mean people who were ruling them at that time, like the Romans. The people didn't understand that Jesus was our forever king, God's son. Jesus was coming to pay for people's sin and to change people's heart not to rule as an earthly king and sign papers and to rule over other people. Jesus sh chose to ride into Jer Jerusalem on a donkey. He could have rode a beautiful white horse, but he chose not to. Superstars, they ride on a fancy cars to enter, right? But Jesus didn't. He was humble. Donkey is an animal that represents peace and humility. What does this mean? What does it mean to be humble? When you're humble, you don't want to put on a big show. Mm, for example, let's say 
that you are playing a soccer game. And that you're playing in a team. The game score is very close and you see the soccer ball coming right at you. It's time for you to shine and you kick the ball and it goes in. Score! In a situation like this, how do we show humbleness? Being humble does not mean that you put yourself down. That's a big difference. When you're humble, you let your actions do the talking for you. You don't have to brag about the things that you've done because, hey, your action, it speaks louder than what you can say. When Jesus came to Jerusalem, he didn't come in proud. He wasn't like, hi, guys. He didn't try to make himself look important by riding on a fancy horse. He chose to come in quietly and with a gentleness. This does not mean that people didn't recognize him. People knew that Jesus was someone to welcome for because his actions spoke louder than his words. The day after Jesus' triumphal entry, he went to the temple and drove out everyone who were buying and selling at the temple. He didn't, want to, he didn't want people to treat temple as a place of market. He said, my place will be called a house of prayer, but you're making it as a den of thieves. At temple, he, Jesus te healed people. Kids were shouting, Hosanna to the King of David! Church, let me ask you guys a question. Are we humble like Jesus? Do we brag about things that we have or the things that we can do to make other people look at us and be jealous of? Are we doing that to God? Are we humble enough to say, God, you are my king. Without you, I am nothing. Jesus is God's son. Jesus is the king. And because of Jesus, we can live forever. It's not you guys. You can't save yourself. We need Jesus. Jesus came to this world to save us from eternal death, from our sins. And Jesus did that by dying on the cross. Church, the people who cheered, Hosanna! People who are welcoming Jesus. A couple days later, they said, crucify him. Now, which side will you guys take? Will you continue to say, Lord, you are my king? Or do you just want to ignore God and deny him? Let's fully rely on God and know that he wants us to be humble, just, like, just as Jesus. On this Palm Sunday, let's remember the love that Jesus showed to all of us. Let's all pray. Father God, we thank you that you are our humble king. Lord Father God, please help us to know and remember that because of what Jesus did on the cross, we can be saved and live forever in heaven with God. Father God, we thank you and we honor you. And in everything that we do, we want to rely on you and honor you and worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's it for today, church. And I'll see you guys next week. But remember, before I go, I want you guys to remember that Jesus is our king. That Jesus saves. Amen? Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!